So how do you prevent yourself from being scammed? What are you supposed to do? What are investments that will work? What's the riskiest type of investment out there? Check this video out with Superstar Finance Practitioner. 30, 30 plus years in the industry. The icon of icons. 30 lang, 30 lang. 30 lang. 30 plus years. Check this video out. Hi, this is Randall Chung, so I'd like to invite you to ICON 2019. It's going to be our seventh year, and watch out for a wonderful lineup. Some questions for ICON 2018. What's the worst mistake people can make when they're investing? I think being, being siguro too in a hurry, investing in something they don't understand yet, uh, or I guess believing in mga sabi-sabi or hypes that uh, it's going to it's gonna curtail your judgment. So I think it's a big mistake. Pero, hmm, pag ganun, uh, a lot of people make mistakes when they invest, no? they, they lose money. What if they mistake siya, nakinig sila sa high, pero kumikita pa sila. Yeah, so those things kasi can, you have to look at this from a longer term perspective, no? Kasi, syempre, pag kumikita, madaling siya i-hype, no? And then, uh, your judgment will now be, uh, I guess, it will now be limited with these things. Green steps in, and dapat lang may limits talaga, eh. I mean, when you invest, you have allocations for certain assets, then you should put a, a limit no, to how much you should be putting there. I mean, syempre normal naman na human behavior na may enjoy mo, you know, may excited dahil kumikita ng malaki, no? so tendency you want to do more. But when you do that, um, that's where greed clouds your judgment and then re realize later on, nasa huli yung pagsisisi. Kasi parang ganun din sa scam, di ba? Parang mm. they earn when it's, when it's moving up, when, they're doing, when the scam is moving up, kumikita sila, alam nila mali, pero they're investing in it. Pero, o kaya ano, nakita mong kumita yung kakilala mo, doesn't mean that it's gonna work for you. Pero what, what if you're, you know, a friend who's into a scam, pero kumikita sila, do you convince them kumigil na sa scam or you let them ride As it out? As a friend, I would like to ano, no, point out what the truth is, uh, the dangers, no? So, but sometimes, ang experience ko, people that I talk to are so into the scam and kumikita, it's very hard to convince them. So, at least, you know, as a good friend and as an advocate, I'd like to even at least say my piece and warn them thoroughly. You know. I've had experiences uh, before warn people. Minsan makikinig sila pero actually hindi nila susundan yung payo mo. Then later on you'll find out that uh, nasunog na pala sila. And it's kind of sad. sad. It's kind of sad. Hmm. So in terms to combat it, there's so many investments na legit naman pero people find to be so slow. Um, yeah. People find visual I think hindi nakakalaban ng mga tao ngayon lagi nagmamadali. Eh. They want uh, quick, big returns in a very short period of time. That alone, in that kind of a picking, will cause you to make a lot of mistakes or really cloud your judgment into making any investment. Not because a particular stock or even property earned, say, 20-30% in a single year, it doesn't mean it's always going to earn like that. And the tendency is, yeah, kumita na, o sige, I'll put more, and you know, parang, should they? Even, we went, in worst case scenario, we've seen this, Marvin, umutang pa, no? Para, <laughs> But should they Maximize. benchmark 20% as a good return already or is it something uh, that is aggressive? Again, 20% is an aggressive return for me, uh, especially the kind of instruments that you want to get into. So, if you want to go to stock market, I mean, 20% is a good yield, but you have to be realistic that you don't get that yield every year. So, so when we do ICON, by the way, we're off to Dubai for uh, RFP money talk. Unless Marvin, Marvin makes no, more than 70% no, no, every no, no, year. No, 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 no. So, uh, sa, sa ICON topics, we will have cryptocurrencies or fin fintech. Fintech. We have, uh, fintech. We have entrepreneurship. Blockchain and fintech. We have entrepreneurship. We have stock investing. We have property, uh, property and managed funds. Doon sa risk spectrum na yun. Ano yung pinaka-risky sa'yo? Doon sa mga topics. Siyempre, the, the cryptocurrency, blockchain. Is okay. Really risky. So, this year, then starting your own business. Um, Hmm. I think so. Okay. Kasi, Kasi sa business, kahit na paano. Pwede rin mag-zero eh. Oh, pero sa business, kahit paano, you can control eh. You okay. can control the environment or you wanna limit your exposure or hindi ba. I mean, ako personally, I think uh, cryptos are more volatile or ris riskier than than, ano, uh, than uh, businesses. So crypto. Especially crypto na wala pa experience. Okay. So crypto, then business. Yeah. Okay, then? Maybe stocks. Stocks, then? Uh, funds. Funds, then property. Property, yeah. 
Okay, so all of that we'll talk about in Icon 2019. Yep. Uh, link will be down below for those who want to learn more. Because, hey, I think May 25. The, May 25. Samsung Hall. May 25, Samsung Hall. The seventh biggest, Icon. Seventh Icon. The biggest thing that people need to know is yeah. uh, knowledge still is yes. the greatest investment. Because yeah. uh, what they nila. The risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. Eh. And, and ano, eh, hindi pa nila alam mo di, di nila maririp kagad yung benefits doon agad-agad pero later on you're wondering why in a plane or about to take off Marvin insisted to do a video mm. pero yun uh, <laughs> di ba hindi pa nila maririp yung benefits doon kagad yes pero it's something that when they look yep. back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 years down the line it's a series of them like, like making the right decisions I think we have now because this is our 7th year we now have experiences na I get feedback from people who attended our first 2 or 3 icons and they're, they're very thankful in fact so ang ganda ng mga testimonies of people who attended Icon in the past. So, I'd like to invite you, uh, be part. No? Be, this is, I mean, you can always say it's the biggest because we have the most attendance. But I think sa akin, this is the most uh, transforming, transformative type of a program. And it's really life-changing to be part of, uh, to, to experience what Icon is all about. I mean, it's not going to run for seven or seven years if it's not good. So. Alright, so see you all there, May 25. Uh, the plane is gonna take off now. Pangat na yung audio rito. So see you all again soon guys. Bye bye. Bye.